What's up, YouTube? It's R4T here. Welcome back to another install. I'm going to show you guys some new gadgets today. Uh, these are our Molly mounts, and we'll show you what they do here in a little bit. But you could kind of see we've already used these on a couple accessories. So, this is our Forerunner, and it has the entire Rego shelf and everything on here. and Instead of using traditional mounts for these Molly systems, we made these Molly mounts to make it a wee bit easier for everybody to mount their accessories on to this Molly system. So if you look over here, we've got a quick fist. And if you look right behind it, we use one of our Molly mounts to hold the quick fist that's holding our soft shackles and we use the molly mounts to mount these quick fists to hold our axe and these are these molly mounts mm -hmm. these molly mounts is holding the paper towel holder and we are going to do a little we're going to do a little test to see how much weight these little molly mounts can hold. So we filled up our little water, Rotopax water container. One gallon. One gallon, and it is 10 and a half pounds. I'm trying to figure out how to get on this thing. And I forgot my belt. So my butt crack's gonna show, but you guys aren't gonna see it unless you have my OnlyFans account. Oh, ah, oh, here we go. All right, so Rotopax mount. Oh god, that fuck. this is a little tight. Oh. oh, we're gonna. Oh, Jesus, we're gonna mount this somewhere here to these two holes. So we gotta find the two slots that we could use. Let's just say, for example, we're going to try to mount this onto here, right? You'd somehow have to get behind there to put this nut into the bolt in the back. And as you can see, we can't get back there. And you would literally have to find like a really long wrench and try to maneuver back here without this thing falling. We already know it's gonna fall and fall into one of these cracks that we can never access. So, we don't play with that no more. Forget the nut. That's why we made these molly mounts. So, we found our, let me find one, two, three, four, five. So, this is where it's gonna go, right? We are gonna get a one of these and you want to put it to where the slits right here are sitting behind that so that it doesn't come out of the slot and then you're going to take the bolt one of these and you're going to put it through like that and you don't have to access behind it so line up the hole here and then i'm going to start the top one so with the layout of these molly panels right it's really easy to get to mount like one single thing but if you have like a rotopax mount like this where you need two mounting points the one directly underneath you could see doesn't match where we need the molly mount to be so if you just turn it a little bit like this you have a spot where you put the molly mount behind and since this is a um, Rotopax, we can have it sit tilted one way or the other. Let's see which way works best. 
So we've decided that if we mount it this way, we can tilt the water packs downwards so that we can mount a spout instead of dismounting the entire rotor packs. We just use a spout for our water. So after locating the slot that the mount needs to be in, again, let's go behind it and turn it to where it sits within the slot. Find where the hole will align and then bolt and wash it. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got the water packs mounted up with two of our molly mounts. And you can see how solid it is. You can shake this entire thing and no movement, super solid. And this is 10 and a half pounds. So I think you can go even heavier without any kind of um, problem with the molly mounts. Uh, the way we mounted this, I think we would DIY a little spout right here and probably move this out towards here a little bit. That way you have easier access when you're standing outside. You can just have access to the spout instead of reaching way in here. And you know, water spills, you can clean a lot easier out here. But the whole point of this is to show you the concept of the molly mount you saw earlier how hard or impossible it is to get hold this behind see like I'm already struggling I'm not behind there yet this is how I would normally hold a nut to go back here right now this is just way down here if you needed it to come way up here I don't know how the hell you gonna try and do that just break your arm in three pieces and try to for a very long wrench but then I know everybody has the butterfinger issues of holding this nut in place and not dropping into these cracks but that is our molly mount and it doesn't just work on the rego molly it also works on the cali raised and pretty much any kind of molly mount whether these slots are vertical or horizontal because you could just turn them out and um, gives you a much easier hassle-free solution to mount all of your camping recovery off-roading accessories so you guys can see that these nuts have the nylon lock in it the molly mount also has the same nylon inside of it so you don't have to worry about vibration issues and it you know the nut coming loose from the bolt it already has um, the same nylon as this inside of the mount itself so that is it for this video don't forget to subscribe to my only fans and r4t see you next time peace all right, so before we leave, we rearranged the position that we put the water packs just so this is facing outwards instead of way in here. Now we could have put a spout here and then just use this for water when you're standing outside of the truck and um, easy to fill a water bottle or get water for your puppies and stuff. But we put the paper towel over there Water's over here and facing outwards. You could rearrange it however you want though. This is just the way we set it up and we'll try it out on the trails tomorrow. So, peace again.